everyone, it's Dr. Helen here. So welcome to my uh, live today, which is the tale of two springers, my beautiful springer spaniels, Rowan and Evie, and how I used essential oils for uh, supporting their musculoskeletal system. Um, so it it's all started really this year. Um, I'm a canny cross runner, um, very keen on, on running as are uh, all my springers and Inca, my blind dog as well. And we compete a lot around the country and um, Evie and Rowan and Saren, um, my other springer, you know, we compete in a wide variety of events. Now, um, Rowan and Evie, you know, were competing a lot this year and um, Saren had been competing with her sister Inca. and. It all started sort of uh, back in the winter, obviously, because we went into lockdown in March, but um, we were doing a couple of races and we'd run really brilliantly on the Saturday. And then for the next day, because most of them are two day events, um, Rowan didn't want to run, which is really unlike him. He, he didn't, in one case, he didn't want to get out of the van. In another case, he didn't actually want to walk to the start. Now, um, I wasn't overly worried at the time because it was really raining and it was muddy and I just thought, you know, he, he actually doesn't like the rain very much and, um, you know, he, after the event, he'd gone out for a walk absolutely, you know, happily and everything like that and I always um, massage them. They get a massage once a week. I'm qualified in canine massage therapy so they get a massage once a week and obviously after every race as well they get a, a massage as well and if I detect any... Um, any issues I always like to use my trusty uh, red light therapy device um, which is a fantastically neat bit of kit um, that helps with sort of um, reducing inflammation and um, pain relief and everything and I do sell these so if you want to know any more about these um, I can send you some information about it um, so they always have that um, and I couldn't pick up anything that was obviously affecting um, either you know him Rowan or Evie for that matter and he was doing really well. Anyway, we went on a training run um, a few days later after the second race um, he'd not wanted to run in. And suddenly he started limping on his left hind and I was like, okay, something is up. Still couldn't really find any hot spots or anything like that, but rested him, gave him painkillers, um, gave him frankincense and copaiba essential oil um, internally and um, topically. And then um, just sort of was looking at him and trying to work out what was wrong and actually film, filming him um, and sending the video to my vet, a physio friend, someone else who does massage, canine massage therapy to try and work out what was going on because we couldn't get x-rays at the time because we'd gone into lockdown and it wasn't essential and Rowan doesn't cope very well at the vet so I knew he wouldn't manage just being taken in there without me. So um, I actually within a few days just using um, copaiba and frankincense oils internally I actually got him completely off painkillers. He was very very comfortable. He's quite a needy dog bless him if he gets upset about anything and so um, he, he got onto the frankincense and copaiba and was perfectly happy on these. Now when I am talking about the oils um, you being used I am talking about doTERRA essential oils and um, these are certified pure therapeutic grade. They do um, they have extensive testing both by doTERRA and independent um, testing as well to assess for their um, their purity and these are the oils that are certified as being safe to use internally as well and obviously um, you do need to know uh, a bit about um, how to use them as well and you don't want to be using anything that's not deemed um, suitable for internal use because they can have lots of contaminants in um, and the the main issue with it, um, essential oils really is their purity and approximately 80% of essential oils are adulterated in some way. So what you're actually buying often isn't the pure frankincense or it's a, a, a frankincense, for example, that's got a lot of adulteration, whether it's pesticides in it or um, contaminants from distillation and, and or even it can be actually diluted as well in order so um, people make uh, more money. So <clears throat> I'd got him off the... Um, the painkillers and he was just on frankincense and cape but with with brilliant effect he was back to doing normal walks didn't want to run but back to doing normal walks and um i mean Copaiba's a very interesting oil and all my dogs actually had copaiba anyway um, for their supporting them. Well, they started having it after sort of Rowan had his um, started needing it. Um, it's very good for supporting um, the musculoskeletal system as a preventative, but it's also um, very good. It's been traditionally used as an anti-inflammatory um, and it's also got very good analgesic properties as well. And 
it's in clinical trials they've actually found uh, so these are independent trials that have been done that have actually found that it also reduces the transmission of the painful stimuli um, and it's also capabaroy is a very rich source of antioxidants as well it works on the endocannabinoid system so much like cbd oil um, but it works on the cb2 receptors and doesn't have the psychoactive effects of cb cbd oil and you can be guaranteed its purity which is one of the problems with cbd oil and and as a doctor um, i have actually seen quite a lot of people have side effects from cbd oil where it's actually exacerbated their symptoms and not um, relieved them which is what they've wanted so um capaber oils are really really quite um, amazing so he was having this um internally um, in his food and also in a in a blend uh, topically as well and then as I said he was also having frankincense and both of these oils are actually what's called an enhancer so they enhance the effect of any oil that they're paired with and you know together they're enhancing each other so you're actually getting the sum of the parts is actually greater than their individual components so good old frankincense so much um, known about frankincense um, you know it's a it's a very old established oil and there's actually um, you know it's very popular at the moment if you've been hearing about sort of um, <clears throat> Boswellia resin um, that's actually what frankincense comes from but the, the frankincense is actually the oil <clears throat> excuse me that comes from the resin um, but the difference with this frankincense is this is actually a blend of four different oils from the tree so instead of just being Boswellia serrata it's actually um, there's actually four different so you actually get uh, a broader um, sort of benefit a much better benefit because you're getting all the good stuff from um you know all these uh these great trees um but it's a very it's a it's a absolutely fantastic oil and again <clears throat> Um, clinical trials have also found that it helps to reduce the transmission of painful stimuli so just <clears throat> as the copaiba does it has that effect as well and it's also um, a potent anti-inflammatory and I was actually um listening to a podcast the other day by a vet um, and someone had actually asked well you know what should we do should we choose the frankincense resin or the oil and her answer was to be honest I would choose the oil because you know what you're getting you're getting the pure purity there you know when you get frankincense oil that from doTERRA that you are getting a pure product and unfortunately you don't know that with the resin and it's really easy there's actually in that 15 ml bottle there is 250 drops so you're only going to be using like one or one drop twice a day so as I said <clears throat> Rowan was on those two um two oils two absolutely um great benefit but still not wanting to get back in his canny cross harness which was fine so during that time I'm just running with Seren and Evie and Inca and you know Evie's just actually having a still a great time you know doing all her running as soon as she sees she sees her canny cross harness she was you know ready to uh, to go and really you know happy to run come May we were able to get um, x-rays done and uh, he went in for x-rays and it was hip dysplasia and I was absolutely gutted. He's six years old. And it's really frustrating for me with both the dogs because I, I had an elderly dog who's passed away who had very bad arthritis. And, you know, we've as the years have gone on, we've learned so much more about what can be done to prevent it. And although I'd done a load of stuff right with Treacle as well, you know, she had played with the ball a lot in her in her younger days. And there were things like that. And I was like, you know, has that contributed? And certainly with my new generation and Rowan and Evie, everything that you should do, I'd done. And they'd had like the best diet, they weren't overtrained. everything we did was a variety of different activities so they didn't overly strain anything. Um, <clears throat> and you know regular massage every week um, and I you know I was literally just absolutely gutted to hear that Rowan had hip dysplasia and couldn't believe it. So. The, the key really was what do we do now and so it was a question of looking at nutraceuticals, nutraceuticals to try and um, sort of assist his uh, his pain and his symptoms and also to try and prevent and it's exacerbating any further and so I was looking at things like chondroitin and glucosamine um, but I'm vegan my dogs are not vegan but I'm vegan and I just didn't like the way they're sourced it comes from sort of sharks cartilage and things and it just didn't sit well with me so I was looking at some of the more plant-based options the evidence was pretty low on them so I wasn't overly um, keen and but I just thought well I'll, I'll put it at the back of my mind and what else can I can I find and because obviously I'm I'm knowledgeable about the essential oils I knew there was a product called the deep blue polyphenol complex which is a human supplement um, which is uh, a po it's a little capsule like that but Rowan's um, 
about 23 kilograms so over about 21 kilograms it's okay for a dog to have these and the this is actually a, a, a fantastic nutritional supplement and it is chock full of antioxidants now um, inflammation is caused by a free radicals coursing through the body and when you have something that's very high in antioxidants the antioxidants scoop the free radicals up and stop them um, causing inflammation and inflammation is at the root of all pain and most of the problems we get within our body so it's a mix of frankincense turmeric green tea pomegranate um, seed oil grape seed and res resveratrol and it is an absolutely power-packed um, little capsule of these fabulous antioxidants that provides a natural support for aching muscles and soft joints so I thought right I'm going to try them on these and I couldn't believe it one month later he's back in his canny cross harness he was back and within a few months he was just running like he'd always run and in actual fact our first competition well actually our only competition since then because of lockdown we actually came second in a very hilly race on the Isle of Mull. Um, two day event, very muddy, very challenging conditions and um, lots of screaming from me on the downhills because Rowan, all the, the others, they were all steady on a downhill. Rowan, if you scream, he just goes faster. Um, but no, he was absolutely cracking back. So absolutely thrilled, you know, about that. Um, and during that time as well, um, I was also using um, this lovely oil, which is called Aroma Touch in a, a massage. I actually got it for my disabled dogs actually to just enhance their their massage. And you can use it. You blend it quite extensively with fractionated coconut oil. Um, and while I was actually massaging Maz, and it was just before um, Rowan had got his X-rays, Rowan would come and seek me out for this. And so that was when I was thinking, you know, there's something still very much wrong with him and he needs it because he was actually really seeking out the aroma touch. So I'd always make sure I'd, I'd pop it on him in a blend, just part the hair and pop it on the skin just around the, the area affected and then um, massage it in. And so the dogs all started having this aroma touch. They all have this aroma touch um, oil now uh, in a massage as well whereas previously it was just lavender oil but aroma touch is fabulous it's very relaxing and calming and soothing and helps to increase the circulation and decreases the tension of muscles and it has also got analgesic qualities as well as an anti-inflammatory ones as well and it's a blend of um, basil grape cypress marjoram lavender and peppermint and really really smelling nice so it's one I like quite a lot actually having in my bath um, but it's just it's it's just really beautiful so that was all Rowan and then like I said Evie was doing absolutely marvellously during that time um, no problem at all and about September time late August September I became aware that actually you know as Rowan was getting back into speed um, she was bunny hopping a few times not much again they're having their weekly massages not picking anything up but just suddenly aware that she's actually bunny hopping and when you canny cross you know the dogs are in front of you but on a line so you're looking at their back end so you start to really notice what's going on and I was filming her as well when we were running you know she was just out on walks and I was just like there's something not right and um, over the period of the sort of the month of September um, month of August into September I detected that she was actually starting to lose um, muscle mass uh, in her left hip so I was really worried and back to the vets for x-rays and um, her arthritis was significantly worse than Rowan's. I, I literally could not believe it when I saw the x-rays. Um, she's also got spondylosis. It was just absolutely shocking to see those x-rays. And I, I couldn't believe that. I mean, obviously, she's a spring and she's really stoic, but um, that's just their breed. But how she'd just been the dog that she is, you know, and part of it, I do put it down to the fact that she was having the frankincense and copaiba. So she was having the copaiba as a matter of course, and then the frankincense for something else. And I do put it down to the fact that she was having these oils and that helped so significantly. But obviously I was really um, gutted and we'd actually just arrived back from the Isle of Mull after that, where we'd come second, she'd been racing with Rowan. So it, that just, just to put it into context, just how well she's, she is actually doing. Now, she's too tiny to have the deep blue polyphenol. So I was like having to do my research and thinking, what else can I add in? So I'd already started adding in um, over the course of the summer turmeric oil. Now, turmeric oil is um, full of turmerones. The turmeric powder is full of, full of curcumin. And um, the problem with curcumin and the powder is the bioavailability of it is extremely poor. That's why you have it as golden paste, where it's mixed with coconut oil and black pepper in order to enhance absorption. Now, if you mix 
mix the the powder with the oil that actually does the same effect and enhances absorption as well now that's great except my dogs most of my dogs don't like the paste it doesn't matter how much i mix it into the food they can still pick it out a lot of the time and so i've also started just adding in the powder which is more effective but it needs something to enhance it um, and i think it's actually the black pepper they don't like or the and some of them don't like coconut oil some of them are very fussy but the turmeric oil you can add in and it's really effective and it's also the turmeric oil itself is also a very good analgesic and anti-inflammatory and chock full of antioxidants so just in this little bottle again you've got 250 drops and it's one drop twice a day for the effective do effective dogs so my um my maz my two le who's my two-legged dog he has it rowan has it seren has it and evie has it and it's quite interesting about seren because um I was a bit worried about her a couple of years ago and she had x-rays and she's got no arthritis whatsoever and it's just soft tissue because she is a really she is a dog that will leap over the dog gate she will leap on all the kitchen counters i have to put leave no food out at all because she will eat it and so consequently she does get these little you know soft tissue sort of little sprains and strains so um i found that once i started adding the turmeric oil into her she was a lot more comfortable you could just see because sometimes she'd be a little bit stiff as she went out on a walk and then once she started having the turmeric oil that hasn't bothered her at all and she still manages to jump up on the kitchen cabinets anyway so evie was having that but the next one um i started to add in was i started learning all about ddr prime and this is quite an amazing oil and the more I've been learning about DDR Prime, I, I just absolutely love it. And I've, I've actually got my folks, my parents on the, um, the soft gels as well. So DDR Prime is known as a cellular complex and it's basically antioxidant support for cells and it promotes heli um, healthy cellular function. So, you know, this was really great for Evie, you know, for um, and you know in view of her arthritis and obviously Rome was able to have the deep blue polyphenol so she um i haven't had to i haven't given this to him because they, they do actually have several of the same oils in so particularly it's got frankincense in it's got wild orange litsia lemongrass thyme summer savory clove and newly and basically they help support all the um the body systems so it's a really powerful little punch um there in that little one uh, one drop that she has twice a day and I've literally I literally can't believe how well you know all the dogs are managing just on the oils and I obviously I'm a bit of a geek and I'm not saying that they're gonna you know I mean at the moment none of my dogs um, apart from one is on any kind of medication but that's not for musculoskeletal health and I can't say for you know that they're just gonna be on the oils forever and never have any um, meds but you know they're only six and eight and you know everything has um, you know all pharmaceutical has side effects in some way you know a lot of the painkillers are can be damaging for the kidney and liver and you want to i want to obviously limit that as much as i can and so by using the oils they've had not just um an analgesic effect but they've also got a preventative effect as well so you get this this real double double element to them which is absolutely fantastic and you know over the course of time i'm sure we will have to add in some extra pain relief as well but you know i've got these fabulous oils that are giving them so much benefit and i use them internally so they're the ones i use internally and then i also use a blend obviously i'm not using the aroma touch internally but i use it in a blend i have it in i make up these little blends so this is this is evie and rowan's blend um and it's got this has got capaba in and, and frankincense and aroma touch and things and i just i personally have it on a little dropper bottle and then i can just pop a little drop just on their skin just above where they actually need it so they'll have it evie at the moment will have it when she's out for a walk before a walk and after a walk and maybe at night as well if if um you know i'm worried and um rowan again will have it after a walk as well he doesn't tend to to need it as much and obviously with the the, um, the cold weather as well making sure they're wrapped up warmly after a walk so i'll always i'll after their bath um i'll pop this on and then um put her little lovely little bathrobe on and um so she's all nice and cozy so um that's a bit about really our story of you know how i've used the essential oils for my two springers evie and uh rowan um do get in touch if you'd like to know anything um i can give you loads of advice about it um and set you up with the oils and give you um a plan as well and lots of guidance on how to use it i have a private members group where there's loads of recipes in there so you know how to do all the blends um and you know what to use um in their foods and things it's all fully there in my members group as well as continued education 
and I'm on tap to answer any questions and and whenever you do um, if you enroll you get actually 25% off the prices um, so it's really beneficial but like I said you'll also get sort of information and A to Z of dog ailments and exactly how to use the oils um, so that you you know exactly how to use them best for your dog and it all depends it depends very much on the size of the dog and also um, what their particular um, issues are so do get in touch if you want to know anything and um, please stay safe and well and um, hope all your dogs are well take care everyone bye